very first part of a Scotty Cameron putter that I'll paint are these three dots. The reason that I do this is because if you do, if you mess up on these three dots, you'll have to spray quite a bit of acetone in there to clean them all out and start over. And while you're doing this, the acetone will spill over and get in all the other parts of the putter. And if you've already painted them, it'll just smear the other parts of the putter and you'll have to start the entire thing over again. So I find it most convenient to start on these three dots. They also require just a slightly different technique than the rest of the putter. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I do this technique. I start off by pouring a little bit of acetone in each of the dots. After this I'm going to pour this off and immediately drop some drops of paint in these dots. And Let me get this one, this one doesn't have much in it. Okay, so this has to be a very quick process, otherwise it's not going to achieve the effect that you want. So I dumped them off, and immediately I'll start dropping in paint. This is taking a while here. It's important that you have the same amount of drops in each dot, otherwise one dot will be darker than the other. I'm going to have to go ahead and put two dots, two drops of paint in each dot. Alright, so I've got two drops of paint in each dot, and as you can see on this one, the paint hasn't spread out all that well, so something that I do is just kind of lean the putter and circle it around until this paint spreads out. Sometimes it's a little bit stubborn. You might have to use the tip of the needle to spread this out. And there you go. The dots are filled and now you have to probably wait at least two or three hours before you go ahead and paint the rest of the putter otherwise these dots will not dry evenly and you'll have more of the paint kind of flowing onto one area of the dot wherever it's kind of leaning towards so make sure you put it on a flat surface like I have here and let it dry for at least two to three hours there are two methods to doing this uh, one of them I prefer a little bit more but I'll show you both of them. The first one is to use a tiny little strip of paper towel. Dose this in some acetone and then just the area that you want to remove any spillage you just put it on there and wipe across a couple times. In my opinion, this method works great for areas that don't have that much over, overflow, like this one. As you could see, this one didn't, this part of the putter really didn't have too much extra spillage. So that method works great. Now, if you can see on the bottom here, the sole of the putter, I have a little bit more excess paint fill. And this just means that when I wipe off with acetone um, it's going to smear a little bit more so my choice method is to use 
one of these pre precision Q-tips. This can be found in any cosmetics section of like a Walgreens or a CVS or any drugstore. And basically it's a Q-tip with a point at the end. And what you do with this is you will douse it in acetone. And, and then once you have it um, soaked in acetone, just kind of get into the areas that you need to. I like this method because instead of uh, really making the, the area of paint fill soaked with acetone where it can kind of spill over more and smear more, uh, you just get the areas that you need to. This works best if you've let the paint dry for at least 24 hours. You'll have to dispose of these Q-tips pretty regularly uh, and you really can't use them for more than a couple passes on the putter. Alright, so I'm at the point where I've gotten all of the excess paint fill cleared away, but I've actually spilled, or not spilled, but smeared a little bit of paint fill kind of all over these bigger areas. And you can't see them in the video, but they are a little bit discolored, so I'm just going to go around with this Q-tip and clean up these areas. Finally, I'll take this little paper towel again and make one last pass over the whole area and this cleans it up very nicely.